They're lovely, Marjorie. I thought you'd like them, and I think Midler will as well. Yes. He did say he was coming, didn't he? He should be here any time. What was that? Something hit the window. Must up. Uh, sorry about that, Marjorie. <laughs> it, it was my fault, Miss Dor. I hit it harder than I meant to. Right, ready when you are, Mossop. Right. <laughs> He's teaching me how to play cricket, you know. He's very good, is Mr Grimley. Well, just be careful. Don't forget there are lots of bottles in the greenhouse. We don't want anything broken, do we? Oh, we'll be careful. Don't worry about a thing, Marjorie. <laughs> just be careful where you're hitting it, will you, Mr Grimley? Hmm, right. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 uh Midler, Midler, catch the ball! What, what do you want to go doing that for? I said, catch it! No, it's a silly game, cricket. Football's much better. Did you see that header? Great, wasn't it? Hey, woo-hoo! Yes, very good, I don't think. You could have lost our ball, then. Yeah, somewhere in here. Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, it feels heavier than it was before. Huh. Must have got some mud on it or something. You're bowling too gently, Mossop. Try and bowl it a bit harder. Right. You asked for it. Mm, mm, mm. And, uh, huh. You've broken my bat. Well, you did ask me to bowl a bit harder, Mr Grimley. You can't say you didn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't a ball. It's one of those Riddlestone things. You know what? <laughs> no wonder it broke my bat. Ah, oh, I thought it felt a bit heavy. It's that there young Midler's fault, that is. If he'd caught the ball like what I asked him, I wouldn't have got it mixed up with that there riddle stone. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the cricket. We can't mm. play with a broken bat, can we? Mm. Do you fancy a game of football? No, I don't fancy football. Hey, but that Midler does. <laughs> what is so funny? I'll tell you what's funny. Is it, uh. Come with me. Now then. <laughs> that Midler's always playing tricks on people, isn't he? Well, I've just thought of a way of playing a trick back on him and serve him right for not catching that ball either. What's the idea then? Well, you see. Uh, come over here. Um, you see, I nearly mistook that riddle stall for a cricket ball, didn't I? Well, why shouldn't he mistake it for a football? Eh? <laughs> it doesn't look much like a football. Ah, but it will when I finish with it. Come on, let's find a pot of paint. <laughs> what will you do with them? I'm going to use them as advertisements. What do you mean? Well, the shopkeepers who are going to sell my spring water can tie a couple of these balloons outside the shop and then passers-by will know that inside the shop they can buy Riddleton spring water. Oh, oh, that's a good idea, Marjorie. Yeah, very floaty, aren't they? Ah, well, that's because they haven't got any air inside them. They've got helium. And helium is lighter than air, and that's what makes them so floaty. Okay. If I let these go, they float up and up high into the sky. Oh, I'd love to have a balloon like that. Mm, I thought you might. So you and Midler can have one each. <gasps> mm, now, which colour are you going to have? Oh, blue, please. Blue, one for Tiddler. Oh. There you are, then. Thank you. Now then, Midler, oh, what about oh, you? Oh, look at oh, oh, my oh. goodness! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear! Doesn't look like you'll be able to have a balloon, otherwise you'll go floating away up into the ceiling. Mm. You're not heavy enough to hold it down. We wonder if I am. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 this is great! <laughs> it doesn't look like either of you will be able to have balloons. Mm, I don't want you two floating away. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. I'll have to think of an answer to this problem. Mm. Midler! I can Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Midler! Are you sure this is a good idea, Mossop? He might hurt himself if he kicks that little stone. Yeah, he won't hurt himself. Don't worry, Mr Grimley. Oh, here he comes. Uh, Midler? <coughs> Would you like a game of football? Oh, no, thanks. I've got other things to do. <laughs> and this won't take a minute. I just want to um, see you kick that ball. Why? Uh, no reason. <laughs> I just want to, that's all. <laughs> Is this some kind of trick? A trick? <laughs> A trick? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, just, um, kick the ball, would you? Mm. All right, then. <laughs> no, no, 
no, that's no good, Midler. Have another go. Oh, all right then. Have another go. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's useless, Midler. I thought you said you were good at football. No, he didn't. I never said I was good. I like football, but I could probably do with a few lessons from somebody like you. Uh, you're pretty good, aren't you? I reckon you're probably the best footballer in Riddleton End. Oh, I wouldn't say that exactly. Yes, you would. Uh, all right, yes, I would. Show me how to kick a ball properly, so I know how to do it, eh? Oh, well, it's easy. Oh, watch this. No, moss up. <laughs> oh, oh, my toe! Oh, 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 oh. Midler, you wait till I get you, young Midler. Come back here, I tell you. Come, come. Oh, 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 what oh, is going oh, oh, on? What's moss up doing? Oh, oh, oh. It oh. looks like some new sort of dance. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, if it is, it's a very strange one. Are you all right, Mossop? Oh, oh, yes, thank you very much, Marjorie. I just had a bit of an accident with this here riddle store. Riddlestone? Oh. I thought it was a ball. Mossop painted it to look like a ball. It was sort of a junk. Oh. <laughs> Didn't quite work, though, did it, Mossop? Oh. No, Mr Grimley, it did not. I oh. think it looks really pretty. Mm, so do I. But... Mossa, will it still give out a story? Won't you have damaged it by painting it? Not half as much as it's damaged my toe, Marjorie. I will soon find out. Aesop, Aesop. Oh, yes, there's something in there. Now, listen out, and let's see if you can get the moral here. Tell us a story, do. There was once a Riddler who made his living buying and selling things. Whenever he heard of anything being sold cheaply, he'd go and buy it, load it on his lollop's back and take it back home to sell. One day he heard that there was some salt for sale at the seaside, so off he set with his lollop to buy a couple of sacks full. On his way back home, crossing a river by some stepping stones, his lollop lost its footing and fell into the river with a splash. As it struggled in the water, the load of salt on its back washed away in the current, leaving just Two empty sacks tied to the saddle. Without the salt to weigh it down, the lollop swam to the bank with no trouble at all. Hey up, thought the lollop, shaking the water from its fur. Them their sacks on my back aren't as heavy as they were a minute ago. And feeling very pleased with this discovery, it lolloped off home. The next day, the riddler and his lollop went to the seaside again, to buy some more salt. And on the way back, as they crossed the stepping stones over the river, the lollop remembered something. Hey, up, it thought. When I fell into this river yesterday, it didn't half make the load on my back lighter. I think I'll try that again. And it did. Tee hee, the lollop thought to itself. It worked. But the Riddler wasn't laughing. He realised that the lollop had dived into the water on purpose, and he decided to teach it a lesson. So he took the lollop back to the seaside and bought another load. But this time, instead of buying salt, he bought two sacks full of sponges. The lollop was quite pleased when he felt how light this new load was. But, he thought... These here sacks will be lighter still after we get to the river. <laughs> when they reached the stepping stones, the lollop tried its trick again. Oh, dear me, it said. I appear to have tripped. But sponges are not like salt. When salt falls into water, it dissolves and gets washed away. But when sponges fall into water, they soak it up and get heavier and heavier. Hey up, thought the lollop. Something's gone wrong here. And the weight of the sponges began to drag it down. Help, help, it cried. And it was mighty relieved when the Riddler grabbed hold of it and dragged it onto dry land. And now, said the Riddler, we'll set off home, shall we? And do you know... I've got a funny feeling that you'll never fall into that river again. And as it trudged miserably home, 
weighed down with a load of heavy, wet sponges. The lollop thought to itself that he was probably right. Now then, Tiddler, what lesson was Aesop trying to teach us, eh? Ah, well, the plan that the lollop used to get rid of the salt didn't work when he wanted to get rid of the sponges. That's it, Tiddler. Every problem has a different solution. Come on, then. Let's you and I go and see if we can find a solution to our problem. <sighs> and you'd better throw that away somewhere. <laughs> you don't want anybody else mistaking it for a ball and hurting their toe, would it, do we? Yeah, <laughs> true enough, Mr Grimley, true enough. But it does seem a shame. It's quite artistic, really, isn't it? I know. Why don't I make it into a necklace or something for Marjorie? She said it was pretty, didn't she? Yeah. Well, yes, but you can't make a necklace out of that. Well, why not? I could thread some string through it. It would be wonderful. <laughs> but how are you going to thread string through this? You'd have to bore a hole right through the middle of the stone. Huh. You wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, no, no, that's where you're wrong, Mr Grimley. Look. A riddle stores riddle comes out of the middle. Look, made for the purpose it is. <laughs> uh, have you got any string? Well, I don't know. I've, I've... Yes. <sighs> right. Come on, then. Give me a hand, then, Mr Grimley. Well, I will, but I still say you can't make a necklace out of a stone. It won't look right. It will, Mr Grimley. It will. And you'll see. Margie will be right pleased with it. She will. Never. She will. <laughs> She will love it. No, she won't. She'll be speechless with delight. It looks lovely. Damn it, don't. What a most exquisite sight. She'll admire it. What a hope. It'll give her such a thrill. How she'll love it. No, she won't. Yes, she will. Go on, then, clever clogs, you show me. Very good. It's attractive. No, it's not. It's a colourful and sweet. She'll be grateful. Not a lot. It'll sweep her off her feet. She'll adore it. <laughs> not a hope. Cos it's made with love and skill. How she'll love it. No, she won't. Yes, she will. Ah, we'll soon find out who's right. <laughs> uh, Marjorie, I've got something for you. Oh, Mossop, you clever thing. This is just perfect. <laughs> what? Told you. Can you make another one of these, please? Naturally. This will stop you floating away. If we tie it round your waist, the stone will hold you down like an anchor and you can play with the balloon to your heart's content. Uh, I'm sorry, Marjorie, I think you've got the wrong idea. And anyway, what's all this about floating away? Balloons don't make you float away. These do, Mossop. They're special floaty balloons. What nonsense. They don't look any different from any other balloons. Mm. Give it here. Oh, it's a... Mm. Oh, oh. Hey, oh, what's happening? Oh, Mossop! Just hold on! Don't let go! I had no intention of letting go.